All right, several dozen lawmakers are in Israel this week to show support for our important ally in the Middle East. An affiliate of the world's largest pro-Israel lobby known as APAC sponsored nearly 30 Republicans and around a dozen Democrats. Our Jerusalem correspondent, Daniel Cohen, joins us live. He's got more on the visit. Daniel. Yeah, hey, good morning, Sean. Good morning, everyone. Sunset here, a beautiful time of day here at the Western Wall Plaza right now. And Sean, as you were mentioning, several of the nearly 30 Republican freshman members, around a dozen Democrats uh, as well, here in Israel for the very first time, experiencing thousands of years of history, the archaeological depth, the culture, the spiritual richness, and seeing firsthand the importance of a strong relationship between the United States and Israel. Republican leader Kevin McCarthy tweeted at the outset of this visit, Jerusalem is the capital of Israel, and it always will be. I'm here this week leading dozens of House Republicans on a trip to reaffirm America's unwavering support for Israel. The delegation met with Prime Minister Naftali Bennett, who told them support for Israel should be bipartisan. He also discussed efforts to further the Abraham Accords brokered under President Trump. Now, the delegation also met with former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. On Tuesday, he slammed President Biden's weakness in the nuclear talks, uh, excuse me, going on in Vienna and Iran. And Democrats have been meeting separately, I should tell you now, with Israeli leaders this week. However, the Republican and Democrat delegations got together in bipartisan harmony at Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Memorial in Jerusalem. Leaders McCarthy and Hoyer stood side by side for a photo. Now, here's freshman Congresswoman Julia Letlow, the first Republican woman to represent Louisiana in Congress on her first ever trip to Israel after leaving Yad Vashem. I've studied what's happened here my entire life, but to see it firsthand is nothing short of incredible. And we just left the Holocaust uh, memorial site. And that is uh, an experience that I will take with me forever. You know, I've always been a firm believer in the collection of stories and that every life and name matters and every story matters. And to see the work that has gone into uh, collecting the stories of those that we lost, um, it was an amazing experience. Personal politics definitely taking a back seat at Yad Vashem. Sean, one thing I want to pass along before I send it back to you. Democrat squad member AOC did not uh, come on this congressional trip this week or the one led by Speaker Pelosi last week. While campaigning, you may remember, for Democratic Socialist candidates in Austin, Texas earlier this month, AOC accused Israel without proof that, uh, that Israel was keeping Palestinian kids in cages in the West Bank. AOC was roundly criticized by pro-Israel and pro-Jewish organizations around the world. Sean? Yeah, a lot of pushback on that. And by the way, back to your point, beautiful backdrop yeah. for you as you report live for us there. You want to see it again? If I can. Yeah, just, just incredible. We, wish you were here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to trade. We, we need to trade spots here and there. Daniel Cohen uh, live. Thank you.